Now, the status of a church and its attraction for pilgrims depended on the number and the importance of the relics that it held. Churches competed for relics and even stole them from each other. A vision commanded us to steal it, they would say, or the saint told us she was unhappy in that place. If relics gave spiritual comfort, images carved or painted, instructed and terrified. To a largely illiterate congregation, images were essential to convey the church's message. In Burgundy, Otan Cathedral is one of the most important pilgrimage churches on the route to Santiago. Otan was lucky to be able to attract to its workshop in around the year 1130, a sculptor of genius. We know his name, which is a rarity in the largely anonymous art of the early Middle Ages. He was called Gislibertus, and he signed himself Gislibertus Hoc Fecit. Gislibertus did this. He has a style distinctly his own, vivid and with a feeling for expressive detail unprecedented in Romanesque sculpture. His tympanum shows the last judgment and in the centre is the serene figure of Christ the Judge, the focus around which the whole composition of the tympanum turns. At its edges, angels blow the final trumpets. On Christ's right-hand side are the saved. One of them wears the cockle-shell badge of St. James to prove that his soul had been redeemed by making a pilgrimage to Santiago. Little souls are already being received by angels. On his left-hand side are the damned. With lust, the young woman with serpents gnawing at her breasts, singled out especially. And perhaps most frightening of all, this pair of disembodied claws which appears from nowhere and clutches a screaming soul. St. Michael the Archangel is weighing the souls. Opposite him, a hideous devil is trying to tip unfairly the scales in his favour by pulling on them or inserting little demons into the scales. Cowering souls hide in St. Michael's coattails. And across this whole nightmare runs the inscription, let this terror appall all those bound by earthly sin. This figure of Eve is one of the first monumental nudes of the Middle Ages. Seductive and sensual, she is the image of the sinner, the first sinner. Her left hand clutches at the apple. Her right hand is raised to her cheek in shame. Eve was originally placed on the lintel of the north portal of Otan Cathedral. This was the penitence portal. It was very appropriate that Eve should be here. All the capitals with narrative scenes on them are carved by Gislibertus. Gislibertus shows us here, for example, the adoration of the Magi, cut in deep relief, often using the drill to create charming effects of texture and surface. Around the corner of the capital, St. Joseph sits a little disconsolate. Another scene shows the flight into Egypt.
And perhaps the most moving of all the scenes is the dream of the Magi, in which the Magi lie in their bed and the angel comes to them, as if in a vision, touching their hands and pointing with his other finger to the star of Bethlehem, which is to lead the Magi. Is Libertus' most dramatic composition is this one, the suicide of Judas, where the screaming devils are even pulling on Judas's rope to hasten his death.